Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Wanted to show you two good rebounding drills that you can implement in practice or workouts. And if you stick around, we'll show you a version of this that's a five on five drill that adds some different challenges. Now the first part of this drill, you're gonna have three lines. You're gonna pass to the wing. That wing is gonna drive and kick it to a shooter. So again, you are adding a shooting element to this drill. And then on the back side, it becomes a one-on-one -on -one blockout situation. So the guy that passes it becomes the defender or the guy that has to block out. And the guy on the wing now is, is live. He is the offensive rebounder. So it's a good drill to work on defense and offense. Um, but again, so it's a way to teach your kids uh, or put your kids in a challenging situation where they're one-on-one. -on -one, they have to block out on the back side, go find the ball, and secure it. But on the flip side, it is a good offensive rebounding drill as well because you're teaching your kids to avoid getting uh, blocked out, uh, avoid making that contact with the, the defender. And again, just a good way to put kids in a kind of a pressure situation. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we even include if they make the shot, there's still a rebound to be had. Again, here you see we make a correction. You know, we want a good pass to the wing. We want a good drive and kick to a shooter. So you have that element that is still game-like. Um, it's a good drill to work on your shooting. Uh, you can keep score. You can make this competitive. We usually, you know, have some type of consequence or punishment if they if they don't get the rebound. There's a you know push ups or you could keep track of sprints or something. Or again, you could even make this competitive and, and make teams. You could make you know uh, one team's blocking out the whole time and and set a time limit or or an amount of rebounds they have to get. And you can make this a, a competitive drill. But this is a good situation just to work on one-on-one -on -one blockouts on the backside, um, really working on securing the, the rebound. Um, and it, it, it gets competitive. It gets fun. Um, but, again, I think this is a good drill to, to kind of simulate that, that backside blockout. That's, that's usually where you see kids struggle to rebound is on the backside, a long rebound, you know, a, a three that bounces high off the rim, and they, they got to secure that rebound and, and block out for, you know, it's, it's not just a quick rebound. Now we will flip the drill to the other side, and, and again, now we're going to add a layer where the shooter has to move. The shooter has to move to, you know, up or down on the drive, so again, makes it a little bit more game-like as well, and, and you still have the rebound on the backside. Now we're going to show you the version of this drill that has five on five. We make the defense run in a circle so they're not just standing there next to their man. And then when a shot goes up, they have to communicate and point or talk about who they're going to block out. Now we don't send all five guys to the glass that are on offense. We have the point guard get back. So again, it is game-like. But the defense has to, as they're circling, communicate, point, who they're going to block out, and then it's live when the shot goes up. So the offense is trying to get the rebound. Um, and again, you don't get out of the drill until you secure that rebound. So again, it's a, it's a good situation where, again, you're putting some pressure on the defense. It is a challenging drill. Your point guard is in a situation where they should come down and help rebound uh, because I think oftentimes your point guard is a guy that can get some cleanup rebounds or some cleanup you know, the, the, when the ball is getting tipped around, he can get back in there and help rebound. But it's a challenging drill because, again, you're circling up. you got to communicate, talk. you got to know who you're blocking out, point. Um, and, again, it's, a, it's a, just an added challenge rather than just kind of standing next to your offensive player and, and being able to block out. There you saw, again, the guy that was guarding the, the top point guard who was, you know, usually going to get back on defense is there to clean up the rebound. So again, I hope these two drills are, are things that you can implement in practice. As I always say, adapt them, change them based on your team, your personnel, or how many kids you have to make it better for you. You don't have to do it exactly how we do it. Um, you may not even like the versions we do. You might want to adapt it or change it. But again, just hope hope these two drills can help you add some, some rebounding and some live situations to your practice, your workouts that are going to help your kids block out. Thanks.